Hello, Bears fans, and welcome to your weekly update here on HersheyBears.com. While the Bears continue to roll through the six-game homestand, their longest of the season, and thus we venture back in the den, presented by Travel Champs, and look ahead at the upcoming opponents of the Chocolate and White. The very next opponent is certainly no stranger. The Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins are in town for the traditional Thanksgiving Eve game, and it goes without saying that the visitors are starving for a win in Hershey. Their last one was well over a calendar year ago, a 4-2 victory on November 2nd of 2013. The rivals have played three of their 12 games in the season to date, and the Bears have yet to drop a game in regulation. Hershey won 4-1 in the home opener on October 25th, dropped an overtime decision on November 7th at Mohegan Sun Arena, and came back to win a 3-2 decision just over a week ago. Trailing 2-0 in the second, Hershey erupted for two power play goals from Philippe Cornet and Connor Carrick to tie the game. Chandler Stevenson later converted the second penalty shot awarded in the game, the eventual winner. There are only two Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins players that have a goal against Hershey so far this season. One of them, however, has five of the Penguins total six, and as of the time of this recording, is missing from the lineup. Forward Jason Megna remained on NHL recall at midweek, but could return at any time. Defenseman Taylor Chorney has the other goal, the one which started the Penguins' comeback on their home ice. The rivals will meet five times in a five-week span after Wednesday, beginning with a home-and-home -home on December 6th. A former division rival then makes its first visit to Chocolate Town on Saturday. The Syracuse Crunch are riding high, literally, with a recent run of success that has them holding the second-best win percentage in the Eastern Conference at the start of Week 8. Part of that success came last weekend while under the spotlight of the entire hockey world. The downtown Carrier Dome, the home of the Syracuse Orange basketball and football teams, was transformed into the Frozen Dome for one special night of AHL hockey. The intrastate rival Utica Comets came to town and played in front of an indoor pro hockey record 30,715 fans. Syracuse came away 2-1 to one winners and now returned to more traditional venues as they attempt to climb back to the top of the Northeast Division. Back on November 14th, the Bears and the Crunch played the first game of the four-game series at the War Memorial. The game appeared to have all the makings of a strong Hershey performance as the Bears came out of the gate flying. Chris Newberry put Hershey ahead 5.58 into the game, but Syracuse captain Mike Angelitis and rookie Kevin Lynch added goals and gave the Crunch the lead for what would be the game. Henry Ekinen and Nikita Nesterov were able to score past Philip Grubauer, and Jonathan Marchessault added an empty netter to seal the win. Syracuse visits Utica and hosts Binghamton before wrapping up their week in Hershey on Saturday night. The St. John's Ice Caps will then come back to play the Bears on the last day of the month and the last day of their five-game jaunt through the East Division. The Ice Caps schedule is relatively spread out this week with visits to Binghamton on Thanksgiving Eve and a short trip to Wilkes-Barre Scranton on Saturday, allowing for plenty of in-between practice and rest before coming back to Chocolate Town. St. John's extended their regulation unbeaten streak to six games on Sunday after their 2-0 blanking of the Bears. The Ice Caps do have more than just their top line, but on Sunday, the trio of John Albert, Chase Ballacy, and Carl Klingberg did all the offensive damage, scoring once in the first and once in the second. Goaltender Connor Hellebuck did the rest, stopping all 33 Hershey shots for his fourth win of the week, second shutout of the week, and an eventual springboard to the CCM AHL Player of the Week award. The Bears and the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins are scheduled to play on Wednesday at 7 p.m. with radio pregame slated for 6.20 across the entire Bears radio network. With winter weather expected for the first time this season, keep checking here at HerseyBears.com for updates on the game, but as of now, it is game on. The Canteen Vending and Sarah Lee Turkey Shoot is also scheduled for postgame, and all fans are invited down to the ice to shoot for Thanksgiving food items. The Bears and the Syracuse Crunch meet on Saturday at 7 with a pregame at 6.20 again across the entire network. And the first 4,000 fans age 18 and older will receive a Pennsylvania Lottery coupon. On Sunday, Peter Budai, Julian Briant, and the St. John's Ice Caps return to Giant Center for the 5 p.m. rematch. The first 3,000 fans get a car magnet courtesy of Thrivent Financial. Pregame begins at 4.20 on Soft Rock 100.1 WQIC and Fox Sports 1460 in Harrisburg. Thanks for watching In the Den, presented by Travel Champs. I'm Scott Stuccio. Make it a safe week. Have a great Thanksgiving holiday, and we'll see you here at the Den. <laughs>